Once upon a time, in the bustling city of Agrabah, there lived a young and adventurous lad named Aladdin. He was known throughout the city for his quick wit, charming smile, and a heart full of curiosity. Aladdin often found himself wandering through the lively markets, dreaming of grand adventures. One sunny morning, as Aladdin was strolling through the marketplace, he noticed an old man peddling a dusty, ornate oil lamp. The lamp was weathered and tarnished, but Aladdin sensed something mysterious about it. He approached the old man and asked about the lamp's history. The lamp, young man, the old peddler explained, is said to be magical, containing a powerful genie who can grant three wishes to its possessor. But be warned, the genie is tricky, and his magic comes at a price. Aladdin's curiosity was piqued. With a sly grin, he haggled with the peddler until the lamp was his. As the sun dipped below the horizon, Aladdin rubbed the lamp as a playful gesture. To his astonishment, a burst of smoke erupted from the lamp, and a colossal blue genie materialized before him. The genie bellowed, I am the genie of the lamp, and you, Aladdin, are my master. You have three wishes, but choose wisely. Aladdin, amazed and overwhelmed, thought long and hard about his first wish. He finally said, I wish for an adventure like no other, filled with danger and excitement. The genie nodded, and in an instant, Aladdin found himself whisked away to a distant desert. He stood before an enormous sand dune, and as he started to climb, the dune revealed a hidden entrance to a mysterious underground cavern. Inside the cavern, Aladdin encountered glittering treasures, ancient artifacts, and booby traps that tested his wits and agility. He had entered the fabled enchanted oasis, a place rumored to contain unimaginable wealth and secrets. Along the way, he met a talking parrot named Rizzo, who became his loyal companion. As Aladdin delved deeper into the cavern, he discovered a hidden chamber where a colossal sapphire lay in a pedestal. It sparkled with a mesmerizing beauty. Aladdin, his heart racing, carefully plucked the sapphire, wondering if it held any magical properties. Suddenly, the chamber trembled, and the walls began to close in. Aladdin, realizing the oasis was protecting its treasure, held the sapphire high and wished to be returned to the entrance. The genie granted his wish, and Aladdin found himself standing outside the cavern. The enchanted oasis collapsed in on itself, sealing its secrets away once more. Aladdin, clutching the sapphire, was returned to the marketplace in Agrabah. As he gazed at the sapphire, Aladdin realized the true adventure he sought was not just about treasure, but the lessons he learned, the friends he made, and the memories he created.
He still had two wishes left, but for now, he was content with his newfound wisdom and the extraordinary adventure he had just experienced. And so, Aladdin's journey continued, full of wonder and excitement, knowing that true magic lay not only in wishes but in the moments and people that enriched his life.